Republican activist is the first person convicted in Arizona of the fake electors case. Her name is Lorraine Pellegrino, um, and here's the first um, part of the story. A Republican activist who signed the document falsely claiming Donald Trump had won the Arizona had won Arizona in 2020 became the first person to be convicted in the state's fake elector case. Lorraine Pellegrino, a past president of the group, the Ahwatukee Republican Women, has pleaded guilty in a, to a misdemeanor charge of a filing a false document. So let's let's go down this road for a moment before I talk about my um, I know Lorraine Pellegrino. I know her really well. Uh, and I'm going to talk about her in a minute. Um, she was facing nine felony charges, and they allowed her to plead to one misdemeanor. I want you to think about that. Nine felony charges. If they had nine felony charges that they could stick against her, why would they allow her to plead to one misdemeanor charge? Does it show uh, this entire fight should be over? But let me tell you something. Um what bothers me about this is I don't agree. By the way, I want to be very clear if you're just listening for the first time. I disagreed with the fa- with these this, these fake electors or whatever you want to call them. I disagreed with what they did. I didn't think they should do it. I thought it was a silly thing to do. But I don't think it's illegal. I don't think they broke the law. I don't think they told everybody Donald Trump won. Were you fooled? Was anybody out there, anybody out there that doesn't like what they did and thinks that they should go to prison for it? Were you fooled? Do you think anybody was fooled that they actually pulled the wool over anybody's eyes, that something was sent to Washington, D.C., and somebody in Washington, D.C. said, oh, all of a sudden now we've got a the electors in Arizona are casting their votes for Donald Trump. No, Joe Biden is the president of the United States. Joe Biden won in 2020. Joe Biden got the electors from here. I, the whole thing has been overblown and is overtly political. So now let me talk about Lorraine Pellegrino for a minute. I've known Lorraine and her husband for years. These are good people. These are really good people. I don't think she did the right thing. I don't think she should have been involved in this. I think she made a bad decision to be involved in this. Should she have a criminal record for it? I don't think so. She's a good person. Her legacy, what she should be known for, is being a good person. Whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, activist is a strong word, but she is somebody that's always been very involved. She worked very hard. She was always very kind. She's never been angry. She's always a nice person. She's been kind to everybody that I've ever been around, and so is her husband. Husband is one of the funniest guys. They've had some health issues in their family. Um, They are older people that I'm sure did not want to waste another day or any money in a criminal defense over this. So you tell me, they're going to try to, in my opinion, they're going way over the top with nine felony charges against somebody. So they come to you and they say, we've got nine felony charges against you. Take your chances. You want to hire a lawyer? You want to spend every penny you have? You want to mortgage your house at whatever age they are? You want to mortgage your house at this station in your life? and work for the rest of your life to pay off your legal bills, or you can plead to one misdemeanor, and we will give you unsupervised probation. This is where, if you want this over, and I want it over, I didn't agree with the audit. I didn't agree with the electors. I didn't agree with what they did. I think they did the wrong thing. I They shouldn't have prolonged this. I thought it hurt Republicans in 2022. I thought all of that to be true. But to have the attorney general's office come down on them with nine felony charges. There are defendants in this case that have the money and they're young enough where they can defend themselves and say, I'm going to court. Take me to court. And I think they're going to be successful. I don't think they're going to be found guilty on these charges. But you've got somebody that probably, and I haven't talked to Lorraine because it's been none of my business. But you now you've got someone you know, dealing with things in their personal life. Um, probably not have the kind of financial resources that would make it available for them to fight nine felony charges for however long it would take to get through the court process, probably didn't want to mortgage their retirement and mortgage their home on it. So she's agreed to plead to one misdemeanor. So you tell me how strong the case is against Lorraine Pellegrino and the rest of these people. If there are nine felony charges, you have nine charges against them, you name another criminal case where they had nine felony charges and they agreed to someone pleading to one misdemeanor. 
it is it, it this is just about headlines and unfortunately and the reason why it bothers me I'm being very totally honest with you Lorraine Pellegrino is a friend she is a good woman and whether you agree with her politics or you don't if you knew her you would agree that she is a good woman she made a she made a horrible mistake in my opinion I mean she does hold responsibility for signing on that piece of paper she shouldn't have been a part of it she should have said no but a criminal record? Should she mortgage the rest of her what she has in her life to defend herself against nine felony charges for this? This is where both sides keep saying it's time to move on and nobody's moving on. You've been telling Republicans to move on from 2020. I've been saying it too as a Republican. Move on from election integrity and election denial. Move on, move on, move on. No one's moving on on the other side. Now it's nine felony charges. I think it's I think it's horrendous. I think you're taking someone that is a good person and giving them a criminal record. There's no way they should have been charged with nine felony charges. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.